Hello friends, SchoolSteps.in welcomes you again. In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to use Android Studio. We will look into the different features of Android Studio and we will make a Hello World program. Let's do it. Open Android Studio and you will get the welcome screen. Now you need to click on the Start a New Android Studio Project. Let's give the project name as Hello World. So this one is the application name. This one is the domain name and this one is the location where your project will be stored. Click on next. Now right here we need to choose phone and tablet as well as wear. So as the Android wear and handheld device are companion to each other, the programming modules also go hand in hand. In most of the cases, the program is divided among the mobile and wear module. Mobile module is installed on the mobile device and wear module is installed on the wear device and they work together. Here the minimum API for phone and tablet is 19 and for the wear module is 20 which is KitKat wear. Now click on next. Choose the blank activity. Click next. Let everything be as such here. Click on next. Click next and click on finish. Now Android Studio, it uses Gradle to create the project. So the first thing it will do is to run the Gradle script and then your project will be ready. The project is ready for you. On the left hand side, you can see the mobile module and the wear module. The structure of wear module is almost same as mobile module. One major difference is that in the wear module, under the layout folder, there are three XML files, one is the activity main, second one is the rect activity main and third one is the round activity main. On the contrary, if you expand mobile module, under the layout folder you will get only activity main.xml. Now let's open the three files of the wear module. Let's open the activity main.xml of wear module and let's go to the source. So right here inside the source, if you have a look at this particular line, this one is referring to rect layout as well as the round layout. Rect layout is referring to the rect activity main.xml on the left hand side and round layout is referring to the round activity main.xml on the left hand side. At the runtime, only one of these files will be rendered. It depends on the shape of the wearable device. Generally, for the wear devices, we have round and square shapes. If the wear device is round, round activity main.xml file will be rendered. If the wear device is square, then the rect activity main.xml will be rendered. Now let's open the round activity main.xml. And in this particular file, let's see the design time AVD. Let's click on this button and from the drop down, Let's select Android Wear round and it will change the design time shape to the round. Now it is very important for you to understand that here we are changing the shape for the ease of designing the UI. This has nothing to do with the runtime environment. Further, you can choose only one design time AVD at a time. For example, let's move to the rect activity main.xml and right here it's also showing the round shape. Let's choose square shape from the drop down. Click here and the shape is changed to square. Now if we go back to the round activity, it will show us square shape. So we can choose only one design time AVD at a time. Again, the only purpose is to help in designing the UIs as per the shapes. One interesting thing which you can do is to click right here on this button. And right here, you need to choose preview all screen sizes. So this way you will be able to see both square shape as well as the round shape preview. Now here the hello round word is exactly in the center. So it is looking good on both square as well as on the round shape. Now let's go to the rect activity main. So right here, if you see the alignment of hello word in the round shape is not coming out to be good. So this way it helps you to design the layouts. Let's change it back to none. Now on the right hand side, you can see the component tree. Component tree gives you the graphical details of layout. 
you can see that first we have relative layout and then we have text. If you go to the source of this XML, you can see that the first tag is of the relative layout and the second tag is of text view. Now let's select this text. The moment you select it, hello round word will be selected and right here the properties for the text will be highlighted. So from here you can change the properties of the text. On the left hand side you can see the layouts, widgets, text fields and containers. Now let's click on the file here and let's go to the project structure. So this path is showing you the SDK location. This tells you where the SDK is installed. And this path shows you the JDK location. Further you can see we have mobile module and wear module. If I select any one of them and if I click the minus button, it will delete the particular module. Now if I click the plus button, it gives me the option to add a module. Now let's go to the file again and let's click on the settings. Right here, let's type font. So we will get this option. So let's change this font size from 22 to 40. And let's click the button save as. And let's call it test profile. Click OK. Click on apply and click OK. And let's go to the main activity.java. Now here if you see the font size has been changed to 40. Now let's understand how to create AVD. AVD stands for Android Virtual Device. So right here if you see this button, this button is for AVD Manager and the button next to it is for SDK Manager. So we need to click on the AVD Manager. Click on it and it will open the AVD Manager for you. So we need to click right here on the plus button which says create virtual device. Click here. So from the left hand side we need to choose wear. Now we have two options. One is to create the square AVD and the other one is to create the round AVD. Let's create the round AVD first. Choose Android wear round and then click on next. Now here we need to choose the API level. Let's choose the highest one which is 21 lollipop. If you see the second one, it is not installed on my machine. That's why it is giving me the option to download. Let's choose the first one. Let's click on the next. Now right here, we need to give the name. Let's say my round shape AVD. Let everything be remain same and let's click on the finish button. You have to wait for some time. It will create one AVD for you. So here is our AVD which we have just created and if you see the resolution is 320 by 320. Let's start it. We need to click on the play button. Click on it and close this window. And right here it is showing starting AVD. So right here if you see our AVD is getting started. Our round AVD is up. As the AVD is started for the first time, it will give you a tour of VA device. Swipe it up to get started. Now we need to swipe it to right to close the card. Swipe it to the left. Swipe it to the left. It will keep showing you multiple cards. Click OK. And now swipe it to the right to dismiss the card. Again, you can swipe this card to the right to dismiss it. So now it's saying one last thing to dim the screen, cover it with your palm. So as this is the emulator, we cannot cover it with our palm, but uh, we can click on this button to make it dim. We can click it again to bring it back. Swipe this card from left to right to dismiss it. Now it is showing zero steps today. So this is basically the application which is installed by default in the Android Wear. It captures the number of steps taken by you in a day. Again, let's swipe it from left to right and it will get dismissed. So we are done with the introduction of Wear AVD. Now hold the left button of your mouse and try to pull down the menu from here. It will show you battery percentage, month, date and an icon to turn mute on and off. Pull it back. Now click anywhere on the screen. And it will give you a list. Scroll it up and let's go to the start. Here you can get the list of the default applications. 
swipe it to the right. Again, you will come back to the list. Let's click on the settings. It will give you the settings. Pull it up and you will get the option to change the watch face. Click on it and you will get multiple options for the watch face. Let's select this one. Click on it and the watch face will be changed. So this is in brief about the AVD. Minimize it and we'll come back to it. Now let me quickly tell you how to override the methods and how to implement the methods required for an interface. So we are in main activity.java. So right click here, go to generate, look for override methods and right here start typing, let's say on resume and you will get this method right here, click OK and it will override the method. So that's how you can override the methods. Now let's implement one interface. So I have implemented the interface runnable. Now all we need to do is right click here, go to generate and right here you will get the option for implement methods. Click it and it will give you all the methods required for that particular interface. Click OK and the required method will be implemented. Now let's talk about the shortcut to delete a row. So all you need to do is to click on that particular row which you want to delete and press shift and delete. I repeat press shift and delete and the row will be deleted. Let me undo it. Now let's talk about the quick launcher for DDMS view. You need to go over this icon at the bottom left corner. The moment you go over it, it will open a menu. You need to look for Android, click on Android and it will open the Android DDMS view for you. On the right hand side, you can see the log cat and from this drop down, you can change the log level. Now let's learn something about the welcome screen. Go to the file, go to settings and look for general. On the right hand side, you will get a checkbox with the label reopen last project on the startup. If this checkbox is checked, you will stop getting the welcome screen next time you run the Android Studio. If this checkbox is unchecked the way it is now, Android Studio will always show you the welcome screen at the startup. Now let's learn how to run our program. To run the program from the menu, click on run which is right here. Again choose run, click on it and you will get option either to run the mobile module or to run the VR module. Let's run the VR module. Once you click on the run, Gradle will start executing the task as you can see in the status bar and eventually it will give you one dialog box. In the dialog box, you will get two options. One is choose a running device and the other one is the launch emulator. As our AVD is already up, it is getting shown under the choose a running device. If you want to run your program on any other emulator, you can always go to launch emulator and you can choose one of the emulators. Let's choose a running device, select it and click on OK. It will install the application on the emulator and it will give us the results. Here is the output on the emulator, application has been installed and the output is there on the emulator. One more thing, you can directly click on the run where to execute the VR module. In the similar way, you can execute your mobile module as well. Now let's talk about the debuggers. To put a debug point, click on the gray area against the line where you want to place your debug point and the background color of that particular line will turn to be pink. Let's place one more debug point. Now go to run and click on debug. Click on VR. Choose your AVD and click OK. As soon as the own create method is executed, the program will stop at the first debug point. Now let's click on the run menu and you can see the step over here. The shortcut is F8. Further to step into, we have shortcut F7. And last but not the least, to resume the program, we have the shortcut F9. So let's press F8 to move further and we will move to the next line. Now let me press F7 to step into and it will take us inside the find view by ID method. Now let me press F9 to resume the program and here if you see we have got the output on the emulator. One more quick thing I want to show, swipe it to the right to close it, click anywhere, 
swipe it up click on start swipe it up and you can see the hello world program installed right here you can click to restart it again it will go to the debug points press f9 and the output is right here so friends with this we are done with the main features of android studio thank you so much friends with this i take your leave thank you so much please like our page on facebook.com slash let's android if you have any query do write us at info at schoolsteps.in or schoolstepsin at gmail.com thank you